Okay, so it's asking for us to log in now. So let me put in the uh, password. The uh, next step we're going to do is actually remove the domain controller function off of this machine. And uh, the command we're going to do to do that is right here. It's a uh, DC promo uh, slash unattend. The unattend means uh, don't ask me a lot of questions slash administrator password and uh, this will be the new administrator password while it's uh, no longer a domain controller. So let me copy that. And uh, for some reason the uh, command prompt got big but that's alright. So we paste that. You can see the command. Enter and it's starting to uh, remove the domain controller role And uh, this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause here and uh, pick it back up when the next command is required. Okay, so the uh, computer's rebooted, and we can log back in. And uh, this computer will no longer be a domain controller. It'll be a member of the domain still, though. While it's uh, configuring the desktop, I'm going to come over to the other machine and look at Active Directory. And you can see it was a domain controller. But if I right click and refresh, now it's no longer a domain controller. And uh, right click, refresh. It's just a regular computer, see? and it's back in the computer's uh, organizational unit or container, sorry, not organizational unit. Alright, so uh, we got one more command to run and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this machine from the domain. So net dom remove and computer name, that's that wildcard again, meaning whatever the name of this computer is, slash domain, colon, and then the name of the domain. Oops. Enter. And it says the computer needs to be restarted. So all we need is a shutdown dash r dash T0. That'll reboot the machine. If we come back over to the domain controller, right click and refresh, you can see that this account is disabled. Uh, not really sure why I didn't delete the account, but disabled's okay, I guess. But uh, that's it for server core 2008. So, uh, it's a lot more to find out about it, but mostly what you have to do is just explore the command prompt and look at all the switches and try to figure out what you want to do with it. So, thank you for watching.